Let's give a shout out to Swift the Hedgehog as well. Her next quiz, the 100 quiz. Okay. Let's finish this. How's it going everybody? There are two mini raptors here and welcome to possibly the last personality quiz. For a long while. I mean, I'm not saying it's the complete end of doing these quizzes. It's just that after doing this quiz, I think I'm done. A hundred questions, I think I'm done doing quizzes for now. So, but maybe in the near future or maybe far future, I might be a bit more nostalgic and wish to do quizzes again. But for now, I'm just saying for now, this is the last personality quiz. I think we're all done after this. We're just gonna try other forms of art from you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's say that. So as you all know, Swift the Hedgehog was the first one to give me any type of personality quiz. And after that first video of doing a personality quiz, it has been a whole trend in my channel of doing personality quizzes. So I find it kind of fitting that Swift would be the last person to give me a personality quiz for now. Plus, I think she's done. I mean, a hundred qu questions and I think she's done doing quizzes for now as well. So this is definitely the end for now. So let's start it. Swift's last quiz on Playbuzz, because Playbuzz decide to update in a more terrible way. Possibly my last quiz, I'm just gonna keep the suspense hanging. And I'm not okay. This several damaged my mental health. Yeah, see? Yeah, a hundred questions damaged. Did I overdo it? Yeah, maybe a little. <laughs> a little is being an understatement. So let's start immediately. Hey, so there's a new style on the website I'm using, so this quiz may not be as good as others. Also, surprise, this quiz I put down some most known Raptors fans. Also, since I have infinite slots, oh, here we go again with the infinite memes, I put down an Easter egg result. Oh, Okay, all the answers in this quiz, other than Raptors and the Easter Egg, have actually been written by the actual person, not by me. Okay, also some questions will have an other option due to losing my way to contact one of the people in my quiz. You know who you are and I am sorry. Okay, if my form isn't consistent through the quiz, it is because I'm doing a design change. Okay, alright, this is where the quiz starts. Ow. And of course, it starts with the most famous first question you should always start in every quiz. What is your favorite color? Hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see this one. Black like depression and yellow like, you know, I'm going to put down my thing for yellow and it will be weird. Piss, don't judge me. <laughs> up, up till now, I still don't really know what they represent, really. I could say black represents the darkness about me. Yellow could represent either the strength or fear in me. That could be it. Let's go with that one. What is your most powerful form or favorite if you have one? Here's my most powerful. Mm. Mm. Uh, my, main, my, main, my main form, I guess? I, I think. I, I'm not, I, I damn here, here, I'm not sure. There are other forms that are probably even more powerful than this one I'm holding up to right now, but honestly, I can't really say. And this one sounds more like me, so I'm gonna say my main form, I guess. How clean-minded are you from a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being the cleanest. So as you all know, that my dirty mind has been getting a little bit clean lately. Maybe it's because of the fact that I'm tired of being so dirty, or maybe it's because of the fact that I don't want any dirty thoughts now. I'm actually more desperate for romantic thoughts other than the dirtiness. So I'm gonna usually pick 10, but I'm gonna scale it down to a 9. I know it's not that much, but <laughs> that's the truth. On a scale from 1 to 10, how depressed are you? 1 being no depression. Mm hmm. Now I would usually put in 10, but because I want to be a bit more positive, so that my future can be made more positive and much more fruitful for my endeavors and my feelings, I'm gonna scale it down to a 9. I know, not that much. <laughs> scale of 1 to 10, how bad did you cry during How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World? Oh, I did not cry 
but I was really sad. I would say a 7. How vicious are you when you attack? Well, that really depends on the type of attack. What kind of attack is it? Is it more of a insult attack? If so, what type of insult? Is it a good-minded insult or is it really, like, really insulting like full-on blow low down? Or is it a physical attack? It really depends on the level of threat I'm facing. It really depends. So this is mine. Where do you go to calm yourself? Oh, I go to other dimensions. And that's the one. This one. What is one thing that makes you different? Ah, I hate uploading pics here now. Ah, because they crop it? Yeah. That's, that's what happened in the last quiz. Me, just my existence. I mean, the fact that I exist and the fact that I am... Who's the best villain in your opinion? Mmm... I do not know, love. I do not know. Uh, I would say other. I have a specific answer, but I'll just say other. Yo! Let's not get copyrighted here. Which villain you think has the best defeat? Hmm. Hmm. Other. Other. I'm thinking of something else. It's not on the list. Favorite quote? something here that's mine. This one! Did you know that every battle against me will always end in death? And I'm not gonna be the one who's dying. <laughs> Name a movie of your childhood. Basically a movie that gives you memories of the good parts of your childhood. Thanks, Emma. Okay, so you didn't have to watch it during your childhood. It could be a movie that could be recent, but it reminds you of how you felt when you were a child. And I could say... Ooh, Legends of the Guardians. Oh, that's also a really good movie. I love that one. But that's not it. I don't watch movies. Hmm. Well, you are living your own movie, so you are watching your own movie. So you do watch movies. Nightmare Before Christmas. As much as I love that film, it's not the one that made me feel like a child. It just made me fall in love with Halloween in general. Frozen. Okay. Swift knows where I'm going at Frozen. What's the weirdest thing you have ever eaten? Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. This one, stuff. I, I just don't know. Stuff. How worried do your friends get when you're hurting? Well, honestly, I don't really tell them that much my problems. Mm hmm I would say this one. 90% of the time, my friends can tell when I'm hurting because I keep it to myself. You know me. I always smile. But like a mask, it always hides something deep inside. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite happy at many things. But there, there are some pains and hurts that I'm keeping down inside. That's the truth. Beef or chicken? Inspired by this fan art of me. Hmm. I do love beef. I do love chicken. I do love myself some fish. I also love myself some veggies. I do not know now what answer do I get. I mean souls. Are, I mean, souls are the one that give me nourishment, but that does not mean I only eat souls, I also eat other stuff, so that I could feel the sense of taste and wonder. So, honestly, I do not know. I love beef, I love chicken, I love fish, I love veggies as well. I'm just gonna go choose, I'm gonna close my eyes, and gonna stop at one. Chicken it is. <laughs> if you were to write a book about yourself, what would it be? Once again, thanks, Emma. Okay. Uh, how not to be me? How not to be me? Be me? Be me? What's something you always wanted to do? Okay, it has to be some... There it is. I want to be in a movie or a game or something important. You are an important part of our lives. Remember that, please. I know that. I know that. These are just my own personal endeavors I'm talking about. I really want to be in a video game or a movie or both, honestly. I just want to see myself on screen next to big characters like Mickey Mouse or Elsa or Sonic or Shadow. Or Optimus! You know, I, I would just be like that. I'll be just like in so many games, and those, and I would either be just a Easter egg character or a major plot point character, and I would be like one of those characters that is the same character but are on different franchises, and people, and I'll be like one huge Easter egg. Like, I would all of a sudden be in a Sonic game, and then after that, I would be in a Disney game, and then people start making connections. Wait, this Sonic character looks a lot like this Disney character. Wait, are they the same? And then you realize they are the same, and you're gonna like, wait, so they're the same person? Does that mean, oh my god, did he just make Disney stories and Sonic stories canical? And then you're gonna see me in a Transformers movie or a game, and they're gonna go like, wait, that character looks like Disney and the Sonic characters. <gasps> is that character the same? Is, now, is he trying to say that this character's canical to every franchise he meets? And I'll be like this one big 
Easter egg and I would be just so happy. Me interacting with Elsa and they're gonna go like, Oh my god, is that a song? Is that the same character who's in Song the Hedgehog? Wait a minute, I seen him everywhere. He's all over my life now. I will subscribe to him right now and watch his videos because that's the way how you should do it. Yeah, what's your theme? Well, right now, the one made by Avi, who's excited to play the next Bandit game, and Raptors don't play it. You saw how scared I was playing Chapter 3, and this next one will be much scarier. As much as I actually want to try playing horror games on this channel, like I said, I like horror elements, except the stupid jump scares! I find them cheesy, but they get you. And it comes to the point now where I'm more scared of anticipating for the jump scares rather than actually enjoying the scary atmosphere honestly i want to get scared through the atmosphere through all that stuff through all the all the the world elements the person has created and wants me to see i want to get scared by that the realization of something the realizing scary theory or something like that you know i don't want something that goes like <laughs> this interests me but i don't know i really don't know how do you travel dimension the rift shabby share are sure sure are you could see i could read english quite good yes 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 me english good very how do you travel dimensions well i well my modern way now my normal way is doing portals but before when i was still very much alive my way of going through different dimensions was through well, through another way. Not not through portals, but through another way. But now it's portals. How stubborn are you? Hmm. It really depends on what I'm being stubborn about. If it's something I really care about, I will really push it to the point where I might insult you. Now, if it's something I don't really care much about, I'll let you decide the outcome. So it depends on what I have to be stubborn about. Okay, no! As much as I love that movie, I can't be copyrighted. Name a movie with scenes that made your spine shiver. It's not listed, I would honestly say. It's not listed. There are some good ones here, but it's not listed. How easily do you get scared? <laughs> I get scared easily, so I don't play horror games. But you all know why I really don't play horror games. It's the stupid jump scares. Have you ever seen a franchise die? You know what? I would say no. Particularly in the word die, no. I have not seen a franchise die. I've seen it go on hiatus. Mm, I wouldn't consider How to Train Your Dragon a dead franchise now. Because... You know, DreamWorks could just find other ways to promote How to Train Your Dragon. So if there's still, if if the company who owns, if the company who owns such franchise is still promoting any form of stuff about the franchise, it's not really considered dead, honestly. It's just in terms of its main source of media on hiatus. So maybe we won't be seeing any more How to Train Your Dragon movies, but we still might see some series or some, you know, toys and like that. So I wouldn't consider How to Train Your Dragon dead, more like now in a long-term hiatus until maybe another movie comes out, or maybe a series. We're not sure. How to Train Your Dragon is a big money deal for for DreamWorks. They're not gonna they're not gonna stop it there. They're gonna find ways to milk the franchise. Like right now, they're trying to bring back Shrek because it was a money-making franchise for them and we'll see how it goes. So I'll just say other option. It's 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 both yes and no, maybe. Who's your favorite actor-singer? Actually, I have a whole lot. I mean, Zendaya is not the only one. Celine Dion is a beautiful singer, but I honestly forgot to mention a whole bunch others. Honestly, the only reason why I said a lot of Celine Dion and Zendaya at that time was because they were prevalent at the time I said it. Celine Dion for the Deadpool movie and Zendaya because of the Spider-Man and the Greatest Showman movies. I mean, I really adore Zendaya singing. Celine Dion, beautiful as ever, but there are many others. Edina Menzel, Hugh Jackman, honestly. So I know this is mine, and I'm gonna answer that, but now you know that there's a lot more. In fact, actually, Celine Dion and Zendaya, they're not really my most favorite singers or actresses. They, they are one of my favorites, but they're not like my the most favorite singers, honestly. There's, there's some up there higher than them. So I'm just gonna say this because I know this is my answer, but there's a lot more. Your reaction out to How Training Jack ended. Um, I was, um, I would say that. I was choking back a bit of the tears, like I said earlier, so this is mine. What is an occurrence you don't like? 
I let spelling translate if you wish, and also thanks again for coloring and editing this picture. Uh, okay, let me see. Okay, so I find two that could be mine. Me forgetting to do something that I need to do but don't want to do. I do this too, and I love and I suffer a lot because of this personal reasons. Yeah, this this is one of mine. I remember I am reminded I need to do something, but it's that something I hate doing, and I'm like, ah, oh, really? And I just do that. Oh, come on. I'm going to waste my life with this. Come on. And there is that one. That one. Basically, I remember the moments when I remember the days when people tried to be like me a bit too much like me. I'm always telling people be yourself, but apparently in their eyes and their ears, they meant be me, but a different color. I, I, I just go like, what? I said be yourself, you are not me! I mean, there's a reason why I stopped being a shadow android. That's another reason why I, I'm glad I'm no longer a shadow android. Because technically speaking, I'm just a recolor of Shadow the Hedgehog. If I continue being a shadow, if I continue being a shadow android. I'm technically just Shadow the Hedgehog, but with yellow stripes. And I don't want that. That's why I stopped it. So if people who have been asking me to switch back to my old Sonic form, STOP! So I'm just gonna say this. Which famous musician is your birthday closest to? Now that one, I don't know. I do not know. Nice try. How would you describe me? Ah, describing Swift. Okay. She has a strong will. Has much to learn. She has much to learn. You're still a teenager. When you grow up, you're going to learn a lot more. Tell I'll, And let me tell you something. You're going to learn a lot more. So you still have much to learn. But if you're strong willed, you can go through all that you've learned. But you still have a lot to learn. Night or day? The reason why I'm a day person, because I see day, the rising of the sun. To me, when I see this, I feel like a brand new day, things are gonna get better. Honestly. That's the reason why I like day. Favorite sport? Mmm. This one, this sounds like mine because I made a Mario Tennis uh, Let's Play. Whew, how many questions? Oh my god, I already feel tired. I've only done 36, wow. Favorite water sport? Hmm. Okay, swimming, I said I don't do much sports. Favorite Marvel character? I swear, silk wings were based off Spider-Man. They shoot silk from their wrists. There's also another type of Spider-Man that shoots something else out of his wrist. <laughs> Spider-Man and Venom. Would you rather be tall or short? So this one. Are you tall or are you short? I'm gonna base it off the last time I had a human body. I was short, damn. I'm just gonna say I'm short. I'm just gonna say I'm short. I never really <laughs> heightened myself, but I was short. I mean, I always had to look up to people. What would you do to make a friend feel better? Hmm. Okay, I would just let my gentler side come out and just talk to them, honestly. Because sometimes a good talk, letting out your feelings, would make them feel better. So I would say this. What words of advice would you give? Yeah, this one. Again, it really depends on the person and their situation. Because, and here's something I should point out. No quotes work for every situation. I think that's the issue. That's a minor issue I see with people when they see quotes. When they see this one quote that you know, is mesmerizing to them. They think it should apply to every aspect of their life. And then all of a sudden, when they encounter a situation that has nothing to do with that quote, therefore that quote can no longer be used, they consider that quote now bad and throw it away. And that when I go like, what? Qu it, it, that quote represents the general problem it's talking about. Because I remember there was a situation where I made a quote and posted it, I don't know which which social media account I had. It was on either on Twitter or on or on Instagram. I remember making a quote. And there was one person who all of a sudden asked, Oh yeah, but what if this happened and this happened? And I'm like, well then of course my quote won't work. Obviously, now you're going out for something else. And I go like, that, that that's that's the point where I go like really let me tell you something every time you give a quote there's always gonna be a situation which will go against that quote and make that quote useless then you're gonna have to use another quote and that quote will work for that quote but then you're gonna encounter a situation where that other quote will not work at all anymore you're gonna have to find a new quote so just say that I'm just gonna say this every quote doesn't work for every situation favorite weather actually I don't know I really don't know yeah. <laughs> Choose someone you would fight together with in battle. Me, myself, and I. <laughs> I really don't know. Other. Opinion on love. Here's a good video I found. I'm not gonna play it because I don't want any, any chance of getting copyrighted. 
<laughs> this has clearly got to be mine. I want to be loved. I want to shower it upon me. I'm just gonna, this has to be mine. Opinion on public places. Ooh, Raptors, I think you should watch this. Is this the one with the... the yep, I already watched it. Yep, I know what you're talking about. I tend to avoid that, but uh, thanks for putting me that little animation. Yeah, 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 that one. This is mine. What's something people shouldn't give you? A reason to kill them. Honestly, how are little children towards you? Something like this. How much of an outcast are you? Also, this will get you copyright. That's why I'm not list. That's why I'm not gonna turn on any of these videos. Okay, I'm no longer considered an outcast. Okay, I have now people who want me to be a part of them every step of the way. But sometimes I just prefer being alone because social activity for me really, really does. It's I'm just not used to it, so I need a break and. A more constant break than what's considered normal honestly I'm not saying I don't want to be with you it's just that doing anything sociable wears me out a lot faster than the normal or average person but I need time because if I don't I'll tend to get all like all woozy and all screwy so uh, I'm not an outcast but I prefer to be alone how are you with long walks other all right it's only 50 I'm already getting tired whoa and there's a lot more oh what is your title and what does it mean it just means me. This one. The Phantom of Reality just means me. Another reason why I decide to use the Phantom of Reality other than the fact that it, I made it and it screams me is because of the fact that it's like a, it's like an oxymoron on itself. Sometimes a fan, a, another way to say Phantom is illusion. Reality is what's real. So if you put something that is considered not real and add something that is real, it kind of goes against each other yet they blend in perfectly. So something that's considered not real real or is what real real not real? You know that kind of thing? Basically my title, my title represents the complexity of my existence because of the fact it uses a term, Phantom, that usually means something illusion. It could also mean, you know, ghost or soul, you know, that's the literal sense. But the phantom could also mean something based on illusion or not real. Reality is the exact opposite of it, right? Even though reality literally means I could bend reality, that's a literal sense. But also, figuratively speaking, reality means real, what is really there. So if you put something, so if you put a word that represents something not real and put a word that represents something that is real together, it provides a comp it, com it provides a complex situation and that's the point of the title phantom of reality it's meant to provide the complexity of my existence and how i could make reality not reality or unreality you know i mean think about it i i was born in a world where people like mickey mouse sonic the hedgehog shadow the hedgehog are all nothing but video game characters yet here i yet here they are in another dimension real as the problems we have so yeah it just basically me the phantom of reality uh, other than it describes me it also describes the complexity of my existence i exist but how you know so it just means me who are you who am i other do you show mercy depends on what they did and how angry i am what was the very first franchise you fell in love with a lot of you would say Sonic the Hedgehog. No, it's Disney. Yep. Ever since, through my through family photos, ever since I was two years old, Disney was the first franchise I ever met, honestly. And then it just went on throughout my life. It's the first one I ever fell in love with. So, Disney it is. Have you had anyone like you? Ha oh, sorry. Have you had anyone like you before? Anyone who said it to me used it as a cruel joke. Don't ever do that to introverts. Thank you, Violet, for drawing this. You're not the only one, Swift, that happened. Yeah, where it happened to me. As a joke, and I thought it was real, someone said they actually like me, and they played around. And it was too late when I found out that it wasn't. So you could say, so that's why I keep on saying, I never, I have never been in a relationship because I really haven't this whole time. She was just playing around with me. But I would say other. It's something like this, but it's other. Oh my god, I'm already getting tired and I have... Whoo! Oh my god! How are animals with you? Depends on the animal. Depends on the animal. What are two characters that remind you of the good and bad things about yourself? What is something you used to fear but now love? This one. Exper worst experience with friends. Other. I miss playing Sonic Free Riders. 
Say what you want about the Kinect, it worked pretty well for me. In fact, Sonic Riders was one of the few Kinect games that worked well for me. If someone were to say, did the Kinect work, I would just say only on one game, Sonic Free Riders. That was it. Others were like, you know, they work but only because they were only very minor controls, like only hand gestures, nothing else. But in terms of full body experience, Sonic Free Riders was to me the most workable Kinect game, honestly. The, at least the one I play. There may be others that I haven't that I haven't played, but are much better in terms of Kinect control. So I'm not sure. But to me, it was Sonic Free Riders first Sonic game, Sonic Heroes. Because I did say that Sonic Heroes wasn't really the first Sonic game I played. It was this bootleg copy on some Game Boy something like that, and that was the first time I ever seen something Sonic like. That's I remember. Then I saw Sonic Heroes because I remember playing that bootleg thing and then I started to love Sonic the Hedgehog through Sonic Heroes. But considering that that bootleg thing wasn't an official Sonic game, it was a bootleg, it's not considered my first Sonic game. So technically speaking, Sonic Heroes was my first official Sonic game. So yes, I was correct, Sonic Heroes. Who is someone you often fight against? Uh, myself. Okay, I'm not too much a fan of it, but there's a question about it. Who's your favorite princess? <laughs> You know me! Elsa. I don't know why. I mean... Okay, fine. Let it go snagged me to her. But then... I honestly grew tired of Let It Go now. Like, it's no longer my favorite song. But for some reason, Elsa the Snow Queen is still my favorite lady. I don't know why. There's something about her that makes me all happy inside. I don't know why. Every time I look at her, I think I'm seeing the face of a goddess. <laughs> so Elsa. The next couple questions are just going to tell you who is in this quiz. Other than the Easter egg and I, they will also be asking questions. Okay, so maybe that's why the majority of this is so big. I can't believe it. I feel like I've already, I'm already done with the quiz. But look! Look! Here I am! This is me! Okay, let's go. Emma the Crazy Girl. Question 1. If you can fly, how do you prefer to do so? I just love flying. Doesn't matter how I do it as long as I can do it. Emma question. Which form that raptors can take is your favorite? You can choose several. Inky raptors is growing on me. Expect me to draw this a lot. Really? Someone likes my human form? Really? What in the name? Someone likes my human form. Wow, people actually find me nice in a human form. This one. Honestly. Okay, fine. My, this form you're seeing right now, it's when I'm not doing anything. It's a formless form, but I will consider it a form because it's its a form. So this is generally mine, this one. But in reality, my most favorite form is uh, the Lost Magic. Second place will be Alpha Agnar. And my question two, what is your favorite snack? Chocolate! Chocolate! Ah, no, that's not chocolate! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Oh, that's my own one. Okay, never mind. Play it. Play along. <laughs> oh yeah, this was a video when I was in a, I was in a mod in a game. All the memories. And question me, what is your favorite Tomb Raider's video? Wow, why didn't I think of that? This one, this has to be mine. Do you like to sing? To those who know what originally was here, sorry, I chickened out. This is how I would sound though. As you go through life, you'll see I don't know what to choose I guess I'm okay, I'm okay And the only thing we know Is things don't always go The way we plan But you see, every day Things will never turn away When it seems all your dreams come undone we will stand by your side, filled with hope and filled with pride. We are more than we are, we are one. Tell me, which song? What song is that? Tell me, which movie was that, which movie was that song from? Tell me in the comments below. Which season of the year you like the most? Can't say, this one, mine. Which song makes you feel the most hyped, excited? Oh, any of these two. In the list, there are other songs that gets me hyped and excited, you know, Frozen songs. But in this list here, it could either be songs with a fast beat or Live and Learn. I remember having a good time listening to Live and Learn. Together we... Let's choose that one. Time to give some love to Too Many Raptors. What do you like best about him? The fact that he sucks! Where is that? 
<laughs> yeah, that's mine. That's mine. Don't you dare say that. I will say that. I say. Plus, if you weren't amazing, why would you be so popular? Well, I could be even more popular if you want to. If you want to prove me wrong of just how amazing I am, you could increase the numbers. I like how I'm just pushing it out now. <laughs> Subscribe. There's nothing good about me. What's your favorite YouTuber? <laughs> <laughs> no, to, uh, I don't know. Maybe I can't decide between too many raptors or too many raptors or ma a or too many raptors or too many raptors or too many ropes or too many ropes or too many ropes. I don't know which one. Hey, 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 Applejack, Applejack. I don't know why you gave me that. You give me a choice of different apple ciders, but they're all the same. I have seen the one with Coke and the one with Pepsi. I don't even know the one. You give me one with Perrier and all that stuff, but all you give me was an apple cider. What's this? Apple cinder? What is this? It's just basically apple cider with the letter N on it. What the hell is this, Applejack? I can't believe it. You're gonna do this to me. I can't decide, really. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely could not decide. Like, I was for a second there contemplating what to choose, really. <laughs> I had to choose this one. <laughs> Lunaris question one. What's one game that's been released that you want to play but haven't got the chance to play with? Other Overwatch, Overwatch. I already play Overwatch. I just have yet to make a video of it. But because Overwatch 2 is coming out, I feel like I need to wait for that one. Plus, I have to think of an Overwatch form, so that's I still haven't thought of one yet. Crash Insane Trilogy. Da 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 da. Nothing, honestly. I. You could tell by the way how I use my voice. I am a woman, man. <laughs> I'm getting crazy now. Oh my god! Oh my god! A hundred and one! A hundred and one! Lunar's question two. If you read any novels, which one is your favorite? I didn't read wholeheartedly the ones on the list, except some other stuff. Ha what has your loss encompassed? Insanity and so much more. Can you dance? Not well. Not well. What is your favorite musical play? If you have one, you know the words, folks. Phantom of the Opera? Can you speak multiple languages? Honestly, no, but I can understand a few. Other! Where's somewhere on Earth you want to visit? Mmm. 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 <laughs> That's supposed to be mine. Mmm. <laughs> other, other. Dark Blue Wolf Shadow. I couldn't get a question from you, sorry. Okay, what's your Smash Bros main? Yeah, this one's mine, this one's mine, this one's mine. Blooper himself, Mr. Gary's Meta Knight. Avi the Tiger, what's the best anime ever? I don't watch much TV, honestly, but I did it, do it, do it, Dragon Ball. <coughs> we are getting near the end of the quiz and like, and, and like always, a few questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're that close, man! Oh, jeez. Wow, this was a long one. Subscribe to Too Many Raptors. Yes! Although I think the majority of you already are. I want that to be 100% the case. <laughs> I would say no. <laughs> yes, do indeed! As you all know, I may have got myself turned out right after hearing a thousand. I started a new one with the same name, but I won't be as active. Mind subscribing? This was the only video I could save. I already did, but not through my own. And I got my DA deactivated too since I was being cocky. I'm not going to make another one anytime soon, but one day I'll be back. Here was some art. Sorry about that, Swift. I shall be waiting your return. Oh, here's why. Oh, the little update and all that stuff. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm not gonna put it here. Watch it yourself and you'll know why. Now something I need to ask of you. You all know me as a hedgehog. Would it be okay if I made my main form my dragon form? It's my only complete original. So I think it would be good if I represented by it. Yes, of course! Yes, of course! Since you love dragons, it should be about you. And if you love dragons, then it should be about dragons. So that means you'll love yourself even more! Ah, the math makes sense! I hate math. Join me on Discord, and while you're at it, join the official Raptor server. I don't know if this is mine, because that happens in my head. I don't really know. <laughs> To those who didn't make it in this quiz, I feel like I must apologize. Just because you didn't make it in this quiz doesn't make you any less of a fan of Two Raptors. Please understand that. Yes! It's fine, no need to feel guilty. By the way, thanks so much for the fan art. I was actually surprised when I received them. Welcome to the world of fan art. I tried fixing my grammar a bit. How did I do? It was better. How would you describe this quiz? This song probably matches how I feel about my quiz now word for word. It was hell! It was great. On a scale from 1 to 8, how was this quiz? So, 8 and 9 and 9 and 10 are not allowed? 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna choose one and two, cause it was too long! TOO LONG! I DON'T LIKE IT AT ALL! It was too long, look at me, click at 1 and 2 right now. 1 and 2 right now, I absolutely hated that thing, it was the worst thing ever, oh my god! See, you saw me click 1 and 2? That goes to show you how much I hated this quiz. Hmm. Okay, here's some news. Bad news, I am taking a very long hiatus on quizzes. I am taking a long hiatus on answering quizzes! This one drained to the life out of me and I grew to hate it. I might come back one day, good news, I'll be focusing on animating. Good, good, good. <laughs> No, I would say yay! Oh, animation. Also, because I've seen people start to create their own quizzes, and while I don't want to hog the spotlight, I want to keep something original to me. Plus, there was a whole squish scandal going on on Discord, so yeah. Okay, so all the things are happening on Discord, I should not be a part of it, because it was annoying me. <clears throat> it's okay, I'm done with quizzes anyway, myself. If I make an error quiz, it will be on a different website, by the way, so say goodbye to Playbus. This comic basically happened. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Also because doubling pictures here has been hell. Ruined by the cropping. Yes. And to future quiz makers, a word for advice. Don't do a hundred, please, cause then I'm going to try making mine higher. No! Another! I'm gonna do another word of advice. Don't do quizzes! I'm done! I am done! I'm done! I'm honestly done. I'm getting tired now of talking, talking about my personal stuff. I am really tired now. A hundred quizzes is now becoming a threat to me. We would never! No! No! Relax! <laughs> we would never. Please don't. I'm tired right now. Also, we hit 100 questions! This quiz was super. <laughs> Thank you to Emma and Violet who helped me with the current and the time crunch came. No problem. Thanks, guys. This quiz took more than a year to complete. I could tell. I remember the messages long ways back. So, since I started around October, I'll say Happy Halloween! Enjoy the best edited video I have ever made. Happy Easter all day to you too. Alright, here it is! Here it is! Shadow Android. Note, I do not own him. I just love his YouTube channel and his character. Check him out on YouTube. And if you're reading his Tomb Raider Raptors, I just want to say you are not alone. Raptors, where do I begin? He's a Shadow Android that's very different. Phantom. 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 Oh, can you just spell it wrong? Okay. Phantom! Go freaking subscribe to him. I, like I told you last time, he's awesome. And thanks, Raptors, for being a YouTuber you are. Remember, this is story. It's not exactly like that. We have done it. I got in myself. Yet again. <coughs> Too many raptors. You got me, raptors, the phantom of reality. What is a phantom of reality? To answer that question, you must understand me. What am I? I am unsure. 
I am formless, which in turn gives me infinite forms with a wide range of abilities. I am a flawed individual, in nature but mainly by nurture. I am sensitive and shy, yet always wants to make people happy. I became violent and insulting through more exposure to the world, yet I think twice on what actions I do. I am a person which almost every trait contradicts each other, such as being pessimistic, yet having optimism, and etc. Like yin and yang, they contradict each other, yet peacefully coexist with each other. Add the instability of what I am, unstable state of mind, and etc., and you can catch a glimpse of why it is hard to understand what it's like to be me. The fact that you got me means something you may or may not understand. I am not normal, and that is fine. There is nothing I can do about it. It's your problem now, if you can accept it or not. We have done it. We have reached the end of this quiz. End. Officially. Reached the end. Temporary end. Of personality quizzes. I remember I started doing personality quizzes when I was still pretending to be a shadow android. And now look. How long has it been since we started? And now, it finally ended personality quizzes the finale and we have done it and I've gone myself through a hundred and one questions more or less I've gone myself in the end it's heartwarming to say the least and I want to thank you all for that honestly I want to thank you all for all the support you ladies and gentlemen have been giving me throughout the years I hope to continue seeing it from all of you and much more in the years to come. Thank you to Swift. Thank you to Emma, Lunaris, Yandre Lover. Other people also tried to do quizzes about me for making these quizzes. As much as I'm tired with them now, I do have fond memories of them. I do enjoy making them because they were made from you. They were made from my fans, you ladies and gentlemen. Another way for me to connect between me and you. And I enjoy that. I really do. So thank you all so much for the support and love you all give me. So, like I said, I'm gonna leave a link to this quiz in the description down below. Tell me who you got, be honest this time. And with that, I'm gonna end this video. This is me signing off to these personality quizzes. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Bye.